Well, people from all companies complain about coworkers, bosses, and salary. We all know this. But what if you had a way to go on your own rants anonymously? Well, that's what this new app called Memo is giving us, and it's already stirring up controversy. Now, I am joined by our own James Mahan, who works here at my company. Now, there's no gossiping here at this company Not whatsoever. Now, we, we love each other. Amy is calling over there. <laughs> um, this app has some really great things about it. Basically, it's an anonymous uh, post column, and you can put it into your company. You log into your company, and then you can gossip, and nobody knows who you are. So a lot of these so far have been really large companies because this is just getting started. And I think it did start with good intentions. The, the creator, Ryan Janis uh, Jansen, it gives employees a voice, and that's a good thing because maybe you can't walk into your boss's office and say, hey, this needs to change. It gives them more of that openness. You think? A lot of folks as well aren't those kind of open communicators. Mm -hmm. Some people are more comfortable um, in a platform where they're typing, and we do live in a digital era now where a lot of people are texting, they are typing, and they're more at ease, and they can do this from their own home as long as they have an internet connection. And, and we know that, and a lot of these um, are spreading really good things about the company. They're saying nice things. Some of them are saying bad things. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, um, and some of them are just saying hello. Uh, but they, I love the cow animation, whatever that means. You know, just talking about things that coworkers are talking about. So it can be really fun. Also really good if you're a prospect, if you're looking to a job, you're looking to go to this company, and you want to know what the employees think about it. You can go into those open posts, and you can see, okay, do most employees hate their job here, or most of them like it? Um, it but makes obviously, a lot of sense, Kate, when you think about it, say you're moving across the country. Yeah. Say, say you're a graduate of UTC or you're a graduate of, of a college here, and you're trying to figure out is this company where I should do my internship? Right. That company might be in Seattle. It might be the other side of this country. And you have no contacts there. No, but you can pop on here and you can use it in tandem with things like LinkedIn, like mm -hmm. Glassdoor, and you can do it from, from anywhere as long as you've got the, that internet connection. And it does create transparency. Right. Of course, so this is a double edged sword. Course. And so then we have to talk about the negative things. A lot of companies have actually blocked this from their domains. They've sent out real memos to their uh, employees <laughs> saying cease and desist. Uh, don't use this app because this could really potentially be a very liable. You know, say for instance, I got on there and you know made a comment about somebody that was really bad. You know, you can make some really uh, untrue statements about somebody and get them into big trouble. And that company has to look into it. And you're looking into. into uh, you know, accusations about the company, that the company is, is going to think, eh, who's writing this about us? Just a lot of uh, liable issues here. You know, this it's, one it says we've lost... It could be a HR lost, nightmare. It could potentially be a HR nightmare. Yeah, this one says we've lost so many good people this past year. Um, people just... One person just said, I hate my job. <laughs> End of memo. Um, and then, there it is. I hate my job. End of memo. Um, so, y y you've got to worry about how that spreads morale and um, say you post something about me and it's anonymous but I'm sitting around wondering okay who just said this about me at work and then I go into work and I have to worry about my friends gossiping about me my co-workers or potentially slanderous things yes um, or um, things that might be you know we could talk about a number of different topics like maybe even race and things like that which would be completely inappropriate and, and unwholesome to project okay. especially on a, on a public forum like this and as colleagues it's important that we're in a, a fortunate situation where we can actually communicate our concerns, mm -hmm. but not a lot of people can. Right. Um, and some of those concerns can build up over time, and then they can vent rather than actually do this in a constructive way. Right. And um, again, if you do look into this, you also have to realize a lot of these are IT companies, so they've got some geniuses that can hack in and figure out who's writing these posts. So uh, don't think you're completely anonymous. I, I'm kind of doubtful about that. If you want to download this app, it's called Memo. You search Memo Anonymous to get it. And you, you can decide for yourself if you want to partake.